let us we discussed about what about relations what about functions and in functions what is a domain what is the range everything we have discussed okay so now i will continue on this topic okay so in yesterday's class we have discussed one condition what is that domain domain as well as codomain and range okay yes just i will represent all conditions in one arrow diagram what is that arrow diagram i will take 1 2 3 and a b c d okay right here already yesterday in yesterday class i told but uh, just for reminding once again i am saying this 1 2 3 okay in this way i have given the relations yes is it function yes it is a function because every element of a is used and for each element of a has unique relation in b unique relation means one and only one relation in b okay right here we can write it as domain what do you mean by domain domain is equal to set of 1 2 3 and what about codomain codomain is equal to a b c d and what is range already i told range is nothing but the elements which have the relations okay see a has from 1 to a here to here this is called image from a to 1 this is called pre image pre image is it correct yes it is pre image okay so here range what we get a b d set of all a b d so from this we can say that one condition that is range is always subset of codomain actually this is main intention okay so range is subset of codomain always this is true okay range is subset of codomain yes this is about domains ranges right based on this i will give one question what is that question what is range of the relation ordered pair x comma x square such that x is prime and less than 13 this is the question okay see what will be the conditions range that means ordered pair x comma x square what is meaning of this range in original words we can say that range is nothing but what the answer we are going to get domain is nothing but what we are going to substitute okay right so here x is prime and less than 13 that means uh, x is belongs to the set what will be the set set of prime numbers as well as less than 13 less than 13 means what uh, 2 3 5 7 11 13 we could we cannot take because less than 13 okay so up to this only the set where x can take so from this what we can write f of x is equal to x square now substitute x is equal to 2 what we get x is equal to 2 means f of 2 is equal to 2 square 4 okay na next x is equal to 3 means f of 3 is equal to 3 square is equal to 
x is equal to 5 means f of 5 is equal to 5 square is equal to 25. Next, x is equal to 7 means f of 7 is equal to what we have? 7 square. 7 square is equal to 49 x is equal to 11 means f of 11 is equal to 11 square that is equal to 121. Okay. So, range, range is nothing but, uh, see this, if x is here from A to B and f is a function or relation, whatever it may be, then with respect to x in codomain, it will be f of x. f of x is called element of the range set. Okay. f of x, f of x, f of x, f of x, f of x. That means uh, what are the elements of the range set? So, range is equal to 4, 9, 25, 49 as well as 121. Okay. Just before I told what is that range? Range is nothing but what the answer we are getting. This is called range set. Okay. I think you understood. Next. I will move on to one more. Okay, so Divya, Divya Aure, hi. See, see the questions and uh, now we are going to do one of the important problems. Let us do. What is ordered pairs are equal? Ordered pairs are equal, then what are the values of x and y? This is the question. Okay, what are the values of x and y? You can guess. Simple, whenever ordered pairs are equal, we can write like this. First one, first one equal. Then what we get? x divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to 5 divided by 3. Okay, from this we can write it as x by 3 is equal to 5 by 3 minus 1. That implies x by 3 is equal to LCM is 3, 5 minus 3. So, x is equal to 2. Simple. I got x value. Similarly, you can check y value. What will be y value? y minus 2 divided by 3 is equal to 1 by 3. From this what we can say? So, y is equal to 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3. That implies y is equal to 3 by 3. So, the answer is y is equal to 1. Okay. So, x value as well as y value. This is the way to solve. Okay. Next, I will move on to one more problem, little bit of similar to this. Okay, check. Here it is given that x square minus 3x, ordered pair x square minus 3x, y square plus 4y, and ordered pair minus 2, comma 5 are equal equal these are equal then what will be the values of x and y okay same method but little bit of change means here little bit of lengthy what is that solution first one x square minus 3x is equal to what we can write minus 2 so x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation. You can simplify. By multiplying, we have to get 2. And by adding, we have to get minus 3. So, what will be those values? Minus 2 as well as minus 1. 
So, we can write this as x minus 2 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. That implies x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 1. Okay. Next, let us move on to another one. What is that? y square plus 4y is equal to 5. That means y square plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. By multiplying, we need to get minus 5. And by adding, we need to get 4. What we get? Minus 5 or 5 minus 1. Okay? 5 into minus 1 minus 5 as well as 5 minus 1 will be 4. So, y square plus 5y minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. From this y common y plus 5 minus 1 common y plus 5 is equal to 0. So, then what we get y plus 5 into y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, then y value 1 or minus 5. So, these are values of x. These are values of y. Okay. So, in this way, whatever the questions may be given, if the ordered pairs are equal, equate x, x terms, equate y, y terms, you will get the solution. Okay. Right. Next. Yes, this is the question. If f of x is equal to x square, g of x is equal to 2x plus 1, then find f plus g, f minus g, f g, f divided by g. So, whenever f and g are two functions, their sum is also function. Subtraction is a difference is also function and uh, multiplication is also function and the quotient of two functions is also a function quotient divided by. Okay. So question. <clears throat> what was the question? See this. This is easiest one. Actually options I am not giving. We can do the answers. Okay. If there is any options you can substitute. Okay, right. So, f of x given, g of x given. The question is f plus g of x. f plus g of x means f of x plus g of x. f of x means x square plus g of x means 2x plus 1. We can write it as x plus 1 whole square. This is f plus g of x. Okay, so this is sum of or addition of two functions. Now, I will do one more. Subtraction, it is very easy. f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. That is nothing but x square minus of g of x is nothing but 2x plus 1. So, x square minus 2x minus 1. Here, this we cannot write in the form of a minus b whole square. This will be the answer. Next, f into g. What is f into g? So, f into g of x is equal to f of x into g of x. What is f of x? x square into what is g of x? 2x plus 1. Just to multiply these x square into 2x, 2x cube plus x square into 1, x square. This is about fg of x. <clears throat> After that, f divided by g of x. Okay. So, everybody, I am waiting for you. Come on to live and uh, solve the problems whatever the problems i may give okay so f by g of x 
f by g of x is nothing but simple f of x divided by g of x. Already I told this is about quotient function. Okay, right. So we can represent as f of x is nothing but x square divided by g of x is nothing but 2x plus 1. So in this way, we can find whatever the function may be given. Questions will be given like that. f of x will be given, g of x will be given, f plus g. Which of the following is correct? Okay, you can identify. Right. So, in similar one, but little bit of different, I am going to do one more problem. What is the problem? f is equal to given and g is equal to given, which are in the form of ordered pairs. Okay, so according to question like this 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 4. 1 is related to 2, 2 is related to 5, 3 is related to 4. Like this, first function is given and uh, g. What is g? 1, 2, 3 and 3, 1, 7, 3, 1, 7, 1 is related to 2, 2, 1, 3, 7, okay. So, the question is f plus g, it is most important problem, okay, c, solution, f plus g of x, okay f plus g of x is equal to we will represent like this ordered pair of here in f plus g function domains always same okay domains always same means 1 as it is 2 as it is 3 as it is okay na domains are same See this, this is domain, this is domain. Now we need to find range. How to find range? Add these. Adding means 2 plus 3, 5. Okay. Next, 5 plus 1, 6. Next, 4 plus 11, 7, 11. This will be addition of two functions whenever ordered pairs given okay next f g of x this is the question same f g of x domains will be same now we need to find codomains I means sir what are the range values f g fg is nothing but first one 2 into 3 simple 2 3 is a 6 because we are multiplying next 5 1 is a 5 next 4 7 is a 28 okay so this is about fg of x simple in addition or multiplication we have taken domains as it is domain there is no change in domain only change will be in range because x belongs to domain and f of x belongs to range okay this is about problem for addition as well as multiplication of two functions which are in the form of ordered pairs okay right saumya hi welcome see this so already we have started now we are going to move one of the important conditions that is number of functions from first set to second set okay right First, I will write the formula and we will do some problems based on this. Suppose 
f from a to b is a function f from a to b is a function then of course this is one of the functions from the set a to b okay right now i will take a and b are two sets okay so then what about cardinality of a n of a what about cardinality of b n of b okay na cardinality is nothing but number of elements okay number of elements is nothing but cardinality okay so number of functions from the set a to b formula is n of b power n of a this is the formula number of functions from the set a to b is n of b power n of b a so already in before class i told number of relations number of relations from the set a to b is 2 power n of a into n of b okay now my question is my question is first one a is equal to set of 1 comma 2 b is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 then number of functions how many can you guess number of functions from a to b already have written formula number of functions from a to b what will be the answer soumya ore divya ore anybody can say anybody can say the answer number of functions what will be the answer simple the number of functions is first of all n of a is equal to 2 as well as n of b is equal to 3 so then number of functions number of functions is equal to n of b power n of a 3 square the answer will be 9 very simple okay so n of b power n of a clear i think after that my another question is number of relations number of relations what is formula for the 2 power n of a into n of b 2 power 6 is nothing but 64 okay so 64 relations will be there but among them only 9 will be the functions okay na because i told every relation is not a function okay harik that means each relation cannot be a function okay all relatives they won't come to function some people some people will come to function isn't it yes so some people will come to functions because the functions have specific conditions okay right so now i will write one more formula what is that number of relations number of relations which are not functions number of relations which are not functions means 2 power n of a into n of b minus n of b power n of a what is meaning of this from total relations 
I removed functions, then what we get? Which are not functions. Okay. Number of relations which are not functions. See from before example, 64 relations are there. From this, 9 I will remove. Okay. So, 55, total 55 relations which are not functions. Understood? So, number of relations, number of functions, number of relations but not functions. Okay? Total 3 questions we did. Okay, na? 3 questions in one problem. Understood? So, whatever the question may be given, you can do. Right? So, this is about number of relations and functions. Now, I will move on one more important topics. That is types of functions. What do you mean by types, types of functions? functions? So, types of functions we have first one is injection or injective function injective function or we can say that it is one one function one one function okay right what do you mean by injective function <coughs> or one one function very simple one 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 means different elements different elements have different images different images then we can say that the function is one one function okay for example i will take one example a is equal to set of all one two three b is equal to set of all a b c d okay now from this <coughs> i will draw the relation what is that relation one two three a b c d 1 2 3 like this i have taken is it one one function can, can you guess? guess is it one one function yes or no just i need that answer one one function what do you mean by one one function different elements these are different elements 1 2 3 must have different images. See, one has A, two has B, three has D. So, this is one one function. Okay, <clears throat> I will give one more example. One, two, three, A, B, C, D. One, two, three. Like this, I have taken. Is it one one function? Check. It is not one one function because here one and two have same image, but our condition is different images. Okay, that's why it is not a function. For example, I will take like this one, two, three. A. Is it one one function? Hundred percent, it is not one one function. <coughs> okay, na? So here, different elements have same image, but we need different images. Okay, na? So this is about one one function. Here, I can identify one condition. What is that condition? This is A and this is B. Okay, suppose if we take like this 1, 2, A, B. I have taken like this. This is also 1, 1 function. So, from this, we can say that 
n of b is greater than or equal to n of a isn't it here a b b has two, two elements. elements a has two elements b has four elements a has three elements that means among these two b is greater than or equal to a okay so this is one of the properties of one one function okay next mathematical definition we can write it as a function f from a to b is one one function if f of x1 is equal to f of x2 that implies x1 is equal to x2 for every x1 comma x2 belongs to capital a okay so this function is 1 1 whenever f of x1 is equal to f of x2 implies x1 is equal to x2 this is called 1 1 function property or mathematical definition so i will take one example f of x is equal to ordered pair 1 comma 2 3 comma 4 5 comma 6 4 comma 1 is it 1 1 function check it at once to be 1 1 function domain 1 3 5 4 1 3 5 4 what is the uh, codomain elements 2 as well as 4 6 1 so 1 has 2 3 has 4 5 has 6 4 has 1 different elements have different images clearly it is 1 1 function question will be given which of the following are 1 1 functions like this given we need to draw in what do you call these are diagrams which are indicated by arrow marks okay these are called arrow marked or arrow diagrams arrow diagrams okay right next i will take <coughs> one more example f of x is equal to x square okay where the function is defined from f from n to n f from n to n defined by defined by f of x is equal to x square is it one one function so question will be given which of the following are one one functions f of x is equal to x square okay or different 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 questions will be given we need to check okay so to be one one function first of all i will draw a arrow diagram n natural numbers 1 2 3 up to infinity okay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to infinity okay now f of x is equal to x square 1 1 square 1 2 2 square 4 3 3 square 9 so like this number of we get that means different elements have different images okay na so this is always one one function okay one one function next <clears throat> one question will be there number of one one functions number of one one functions from from a set capital a to b is 
n of b p n of a what do you mean by p p represents permutations permutations okay number of one one functions from <coughs> number of one one functions from the set a to b is n of b p n of a okay e example i will take for example n of a is equal to 4 n of b is equal to 6 then number of 1 1 functions number of 1 1 functions this is the question can you guess n of a is equal to 4 n of b is equal to 6 the number of 1 1 functions the formula what is the formula n of b p n of a that is nothing but 6 p 4 permutations simple method of permutation i will write it as if we have permutations combinations topic in that we will discuss clearly i can write it as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3. Okay. 6p4 value. 4 means 4 numbers. Uh, 6 is 30, 12. That is nothing but 360. So, number of 1 1 functions we can write it as 360. N of B, P, N of A. Okay, na? so this is about uh, one one functions. Okay, so you have one more formula also. N P R is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial. Okay, na? so in this way also you can represent, you will get same answer. You can check N factorial. 6 factorial by 6 minus 4 factorial. That is nothing but 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 6 minus 4 is nothing but 2 factorial. These got cancelled. So, 6, 5, 4, 3. Same answer 6, 5, 4, 3. Understood? So, <coughs> this will be the number of 1, 1 functions. Right, you got the concept after that. Now I will move on to on to function. On to function, or we can say that surjection. Surjection. Okay, so what do you mean by on to function means? A function f from a to b is on to if every element every element of codomain codomain has pre image pre image in domain if every element of codomain has pre image in domain we can say that it is on to function or simply we can say that if range is equal to codomain range is equal to codomain we can say that that function is on to function Okay, see, see one example. What is that example? I will take like this 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. I will take like this. <clears throat> Next, one more 1, 2, 3, 
A, B, C. Okay. So, among these, which one is on to function? Okay. On to function. What I said, every element of codomain has pre image. Every element of codomain must have pre image. What is pre image? See, A have pre image, B have two pre images, no problem, but C not or do not have pre image. That's why it is not on to. Now, here A has pre image, B has pre image, C has pre image. That's why it is on to function. Okay. Or simply we can say that what is range ABC, what is codomain ABC. So range is equal to codomain. That's why it is onto function. Okay. So onto means range should be equal to codomain. Okay. Now, <clears throat> number of onto functions. What about number of suppose uh, n of a is equal to n? This is most important problem. If n of a is equal to n and n of b is equal to 2, that means a set have <coughs> n elements. B set have only two elements, then number of <coughs> on two functions, number of on two functions are two power n minus two. This is most most important condition. Okay number of on to functions from the set a to b if b have two elements okay so this is about on to function suppose if b have more than two elements n of a is equal to r and n of b is equal to n then Number of on two functions, number of on two functions are we can write in this way n power r minus n c one n minus one power r plus n c two n minus 2 power r minus and so on. Okay. This is about number of on to functions whenever b has more than two elements. Okay. And from this, always see here only we can say this is smaller than this one. So we can say that n of a is always greater than or equal to n of b in on to okay in uh, one one that is reverse okay next later we will write all these formulas at one place before that just you see <coughs> next what about another one bijective function bijective function what do you mean by bijective function bijective function means a function a function which is both one one and on two is called bijective function Example, I will take 1, 2, A, B. See this, is it 1, 1 function? Yes, 1, 1. Different elements have different images. Is it on to function? 
Yes, because A have pre-image, B have pre-image. This is called bijective function. So, bijective function means first set, second set. These two must have same number of elements. Okay. So, what is the property? N of A is equal to N of B. So, the question. Suppose, if F from A to B is bijective, bijective function and N of A is equal to 5, then N of B is equal to, options will be 2, 3, 4, 5. Anybody can guess what will be the answer? Easy, you can say here only answer bijective. Bijective means N of A, N of B. These two must have same elements. Okay, so N of A has five elements means automatically n of b also have five elements okay now this is the condition for bijection next i will move on to one more condition what is that condition number of bijective functions number of bijective functions functions from set A to set B are n factorial. Number of bijective functions are n factorial. Okay. So, number of bijective functions n factorial. Simple. I will give one question. If A is equal to set of all 1, 2, 3, then number of bijections from A to A. This is the question. Options 4, 5, 6, 8. What will be the answer? number of bijections from A to A. Simple, N of A is equal to what is given? N of A is equal to how much? 3. So, formula is 3 factorial. So, 3 factorial is nothing but 3 into 2 into 1. The answer will be Okay, so orally I will write all the conditions at one place. Okay, what are the conditions? First one, what are the conditions? First one, number of one one functions, number of one one functions, n of b. P N of A number of on to functions N uh, two power N minus two if N of B is equal to two. This is most important condition I told. Next if uh, n of a is equal to r and n of b is equal to n. So, number of on two functions are n power r minus n c 1 n minus 1 power r plus n c 2 n minus 2 power r and so on. Next number of bijections 
number of bijections are n factorial okay so remember all these and before that also you need to remember number of functions number of functions n of b power n of a before that you need to identify number of relations number of relations 2 power n of a into n of b okay now so certainly question among these most most important formulas remember this okay na so after that we will move on to one more condition that is uh, inverse of a function what do you mean by inverse of a function see this inverse of a function okay so inverse of a function first uh, i will discuss about inverse of a function and after that uh, we will do some problems in next class okay so inverse of a function very simple if f from a to b is bijective function bijective function so to define inverse of a function the function must be bijective function then inverse how can we write inverse of f is f inverse inverse of a function is f inverse and we can define it as f inverse is equal to set of all ordered pair b comma a where a comma b belongs to f okay na so a comma b means b comma a ordered pair that is called f inverse simple we can say one thing what is that suppose f is equal to ordered pair 1 comma 2 4 comma 5 then what about f inverse f inverse is equal to reverse 2 comma 1 5 comma 4 what about f inverse whole inverse that is equal to or reverse 1 comma 2 4 comma 5 these got same what can we conclude we can conclude that <coughs> f inverse whole inverse is equal to f <coughs> f inverse whole inverse is equal to f this is called the property one of the properties of inverse condition or inverse function okay so if f from x to y or f from a to b a to b is bijective bijective then bijective means it is on to that implies f of a is equal to b that implies a is equal to f inverse of b this is called inverse of a function okay so inverse of a function and based on properties of inverse of a function we will do some problems and after that we will discuss some problems based on composite function okay so plenty of problems are there so in next class we will do all those problems and after that 
we will move to one more important topic that is uh, percentages as well as ratios as well as next after that we will do uh, profit and loss so many topics we have so first we finish this tomorrow and after that we will move to one more topic okay so up to that thank you